video is dedicated to the Kennedy family and of course our awesome Senator Ted Kennedy. And it also is dedicated to my own parents who never knew the Kennedys, but they knew the Kennedys and the humanitarian values they stood for within their own hearts and minds and souls. Dad would be 100 years old next year, my mom 99. They grew up during the Depression, born in 1910 and 1911. Dad made uniforms for the Air Force men during World War II at Ellington Fields in Texas. They flew their planes before they went to war over the house. Dad made clothes and designed clothes for many movie stars like Spike Jones and he took many charitable checks from some of the Republican actors like Gene Autry. He had the white coat that was uh, different than the norm at that time and he and my mom were um, photographed by Life magazine. They knew people like Hildegard but nevertheless it never interfered with their great humanitarian need to help other people and to let all of the Air Force men stay in their home. But then, when I was born, they moved to Lancaster, Ohio, a conservative area, and got an old railroad station, and Lancaster, Ohio, and then they put the name Riptide on it. Dad was an entrepreneur, and he had an invention for a baby bowl base and a mixing bowl base made of rubber that would not tip, slide, or fall. But the rubber went bad in the 50s. Uh, Nixon never really helped my dad, and he could not get any help, actually. And so he never declared bankruptcy, but he lost everything. Then he went back to tailoring, but ready-made clothes had already come to town, and the Hong Kong tailors as well. Dad never gave up being a dreamer, and also never gave up the democratic ideal. He donated our mahogany table that had all the names of the Ellington Field cadets on it, engraved, and also officers in, to Dayton, to the largest Air Force Museum. And there he met with Rosie the Riveter, an old friend, and that following year he passed away, always praising the Kennedys and always striving to live up to those ideals. So although my parents weren't vocal politically, like I am their daughter, they always looked ahead, not behind. They welcomed new ideas and they cared about the welfare of all humanity, even feeding the homeless in the community and all the homeless who lived around the railroad tracks. They would support health care reform and a public option because we are our brother's keepers.